Here's what you're going to do. You're going to take all the weight on your neck. Then you're going to jam your legs down and hyperextend your ankles and then shoot back up and lock your knees in place. Not one of those things sounds right to me at all. Look, so they may not be Frank's tips, but they sure are mine. Stay tuned for my top 20 things I wish I knew. Now, come on, give me a squat. Ready? Go. Oh, my Go. God. Keep it up. Daddy, Keep it up. I can't. Keep it up. It's, Keep it up. I can't. Keep it up. At least I got the one. Welcome to the Longhouse. I'm Rune Stone Gaming, and don't forget to hit that subscribe if you're really enjoying the content. Well, let's head to it. The top 20 things I wish I knew. Number one, unlock tiers and milestones. The hub is where you go to upgrade to other tiers and unlock milestones. Prioritize tier upgrades and unlock milestones that allow you to upgrade belts, miners, or expand your inventory or equipment slots. Number two, inputs and outputs. A Mark I miner on an impure node yields 30 ore a minute. Make sure that whatever machine you hook it up to, a smelter for example, uses exactly 30 a minute. Do not simply attach more machines. Math is the backbone of this game. Number three, calculations. This is a math game. Press N to pull up the in-game calculator. I prefer an out-of-game calculator to track my math but this is a quick way to access the calculator. Number four, use out of game resources. There's a satisfactory wiki, and this wiki will give you detailed information about every recipe in the game, as well as the machines. Also, as you proceed deeper and deeper into the more and more complicated logistical chains, you might wanna start flowcharting. Apps.diagram.net is a free Google-based tool that will allow you to visually plan for your factories. Number five, familiarize yourself with the controls. Press F to delete. Also while pressing F, hit middle mouse to copy whatever you're pointing at. Press P for photo mode. Use this to zoom in and see things from a distance. Press shift to run. Also, press shift plus C to slide. Use this to slide under belts. Press spacebar to jump. Combine the jump with the slide to do a jump slide combo. This can really accelerate you around the map. Use hotkeys. Hotkeys are a great way to save time. Do this by opening the build menu and pressing the associated number on your keyboard. Number six, place your foundation facing north, south, east, and west. Align your tiles with a starting tile for an ultimate organization. You'll always know which direction your buildings are facing. Also, it'll be nice to know that all of your factories are all sharing the single starting tile. Number seven, place onto foundations. You can place machines, including miners, onto concrete foundations. Keep in mind, there's a limit as to how high off the ground you can place the miner. Use the to-do list. Open the build menu and press the plus sign. You can also customize how much you add by directly typing into the box. Additionally, you can use shift to add in multiples of 10. You can also do this from the crafting bench by right-clicking the item and doing the same as before. Number nine. Early power. Early power is a pain. Refine wood and leaves into biomass for better power production. Unlock tier two milestone obstacle clearing to refine your biomass into biofuel. This will also unlock the saw. which area of effect clears trees and bushes. Just make sure your inventory isn't full. It fills up quickly with the saw.
Number 10, check power often. Always keep your biomass burners full. You'll only use as much biofuel as power you are using. Power production machines in this game will never run at 100% efficiency due to the fact that if you're pulling as much power as you're producing, your power will trip. Number 11, don't use power shards. Power shards come from refining slugs found around the world. Power shards are exponentially power inefficient. What I mean by this is a machine with two power shards at set at 200% uses more if you were to simply build two machines. Don't be lazy. There's plenty of real estate in the world. Just build more machines. Also, turning machines down is a reverse effect. Four machines set at 25% is more power efficient than one machine set at 100%. Number 12, feed the lizard doggos. Lizard doggos are a great investment. Feed them a barrier and they'll feed you random resources until you die. Let's just hope you don't get nuclear waste. Number 13, look frequently at your build options. New buildings unlock often and are found in different categories in the build menu. Don't forget to build the man and later the sink and awesome shop. Number 14, build the man. It is extremely crucial you pick up additional inventory and hand slots via the man. I highly suggest you pick up one hand slot and five inventory slot upgrade from the alien organism tree. Caterium tree, there's five inventory slots as well. Also in the Caterium tree, unlock Blade Runners, or as we like to say in the longhouse, jammers. Blade Runners will help you get around the map at much higher speeds. Finally, unlock the map in the quartz tree. Number 15, unlock double ramps. Before you explore, Unlock Resource Bonus Sync Program in Tier 2. Find your nearest quartz node and sync the quartz directly into the sink. Get three tickets Drop the Awesome Shop Buy Double Ramps Profit Number 16 Explore Frequently for every hour spent in the base, spend one hour exploring around the map. Make beacons at the equipment workshop. Find crash sites in and around the world and drop beacons at them to remind you what you will need to unlock the crash site at a future time. Number 17, find hard drives early and often. Hard drives are found at crash sites and unlock alternative recipes that really make some differences in the way you play the game. For example, unlock casted screws as soon as possible to avoid making rods when producing screws. Number 18, unspaghetti your factory. Use conveyor poles to stack up conveyor belts. Don't place belts on the ground if you can help it. Use conveyor lifts to raise products vertically either up or down. Number 19, upgrade belts and miners. As you unlock higher conveyor belts and miners, you can simply place the upgraded belt or miner without removing the old. Number 20, stay at max health. You can survive any fall in this game as long as you're at full health. Also, there are lots of baddies that you can use brute force to fight through as long as you have the health to hack it. 
So, don't forget to eat your nuts. Eat my nuts, 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 eat my nuts. Well, that's it. Hey, hit that sub button if you're really enjoying this content, if this is something you want me to continue to deliver. Um, I really couldn't do it without you, the viewer, and it just it means so much to me from the bottom of my heart. Um, remember that I stream live on Twitch, so head on over to there. The link's going to be down in the description, as well as many different ways to help support me in the channel. I want to give a huge shout out to my Patreons, and I'll go ahead and list their names here now. Well, that's going to wrap it up, and we're going to see you on the next episode right here in the Longhouse. We've been at this for days now. It's like you have no motor skills. Just grab that bar and jerk it down behind your neck.